What's going on guys, Kyger here, and in today's video we're looking at the best possible DPS build in the game. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so best possible DPS build in the game. I don't have it fully equipped right here on this character, but I will be explaining the full thing. So we actually have it two ways and it's either going to be, let me show you skills. It's either going to be, uh, the armor paired with priest, holy sacrifice, or it'll be mechanician paired with judge. And I know a lot of people are going to be a little bit up in arms about it because uh, some people believe that the execute damage from Berserker is one of the highest DPS possible, which it is during that uh, break window. But and then there's some marksman players who think it have, has really, really high damage, which it does. But when, when you look at the actual pure numbers that judge and armor put up as well as their class advancements as you'll see armor has 10 percent crit rate 30 percent crit damage and 1000 crit not to mention uh after you use nether fire with overload you get 50 percent crit damage and that's that isn't this skill gets 50 percent crit damage you get 50% crit damage. Uh, Flamey Cannon is also bugged right now. It's been reported that it says uh, it increases the damage you deal with this skill by 30%. It instead is increasing your attack by 30%, which, as you all know, is ridiculous. And what pairs really good with uh, an attack buff and a crit buff? Well, why not a skill that gives you attack and crit? Uh, that seems pretty uh, no-brainer to me. So those those two work together, and then you have judge and mechanician. And why these two work together so well is uh, mechanician. This uh, passive right here isn't very clear. What it actually does is it gives your summon uh, attack based off of your defense. So the higher your defense is, the higher your summon's attack is. This will also work with blood restraint, which gives you a 30% defense buff for 5 seconds. So if you time it correctly, put down your two summons, then activate blood restraint, they will get... Uh, 60% of this 30% defense on top of the regular numbers. Now with Mechanician, you're only really in Mechanician for a few seconds at a time. And that is to put down Blazing Fire, Blood Restraint, and uh, Mechanary Creation. Now these are your AI assistants that are going to help you do some damage. Then as soon as those three skills are down, Sure, you might throw down a Blasting Sparkle for fun, but then you'll be swapping over to Judge, who Judge is a, ver uh, a big class that really wants you to stay in Judge as long as possible. Uh, in PvE, you'll be getting a lot of power out of spamming Cold Firebird uh, into EM Chain Strike, uh, doing double Chain Strike when possible with your passive. In PvP, uh, you'll be more focused on Kiss of the Frostworm and Assaulting Hurricane doing double hurricane uh, whenever possible. Now, what we pair with these is if we take a look at our Flower Fairies, uh, we, as you see, with both sets, it's all about damage. So, Twin Lotus is going to be one of our best options because her ability uh, gives you percent uh does more damage based on your attack which your attack should be high especially with that flamey cannon buff and star blessing buff 
as well as increasing your attack by 20 your damage by 20 percent then we have uh anathria will be good with almost any build because of her execute damage if they're under 40 percent you do 80 percent more damage not to mention uh because uh the judge and uh mechanician do give you some damage based off of defense you have some bonus of using uh hydro because she increases your defense by 35 percent uh then with echoes uh formation uh if you're doing the gunner build uh you get five percent crit rate 10 percent crit damage with fire so you get this 10 percent uh crit damage 50 percent from uh nether fire uh how much is it from the other skills let me see class advancement crit damage 30 percent from crit uh from the uh class advancement and then you just keep going from there talking about the will and generations uh i think you really want uh as much possible of fighting will as possible uh this is going to uh primarily be your pve build because with fighting will uh it gives you damage that's great pierce rate which is also great but what we're really trying to do here is fighting will is really a prerequisite for what we really want which is fighting will strike uh, when fighting will stacks to the max additionally gain 4.8 percent cooldown reduction which you'll see uh, once you have it maxed out it'll be roughly 22 percent cooldown reduction so armor and judge both have some really uh they both have uh, one or two low cooldown skills but also have one or two high power high cooldown skills and when you reduce that by roughly 22%, you are doing the damage way earlier than your opponent would expect. So in order to get this four set bonus, you have to have four full sets of fighting will strike on your fairies. In order to get the level 12 fighting will, which you don't need a level 12 fighting will, uh, you'll be fine doing a level six fighting will uh, just to activate this passive but in order to get that you'll see that my fighting will is level five on this which is uh kind of in the middle of what to expect uh this can go all the way up to seven because every plus fives uh you get a chance to roll that ideally all of your things you want a plus you want a uh, level six of whatever one you want to go for and you'll see I have a little bit more fighting will because that's what I got. But as far as in PvP, uh, you got rigidity. Uh, one good rigidity. Like this is a level 3, which is fine. I would ideally like a level 6 rigidity um, for some reduction. And because we're already building around the fighting will, it makes a lot of sense to work with God Bless. Uh, both of these uh, stack based off of staying in combat, so why not build off of both? Now in PvE, if you're trying to do uh, good damage, let's say Guild Boss, then uh, you still want Fighting Will, but then you're going to want Fierce Attack. Uh, every 19 seconds, you get a big spike in damage after 3 hits. Base off target's current HP uh, with a max based off of your attack. Uh, I have two uh, level 4 fierce attacks, which puts me at level 8 fierce attack. Which if we take a look. Bam. Bam. Level 8 fierce attack. After 3 hits, uh, deal damage equal to 13.5% of the target's HP. This works against guild boss but it's capped at 93% of my attack uh, towards the target hit and grants 35.5% bonus damage uh, for five seconds with a 17 second cooldown. 
This is really, really powerful against bosses whose HP do, in fact, go down. Um, unlike uh, Guild Boss, uh, having something like Slaughter uh, can really give you the damage. Now, I went over those things. All that's really left is our crystals. So with crystals, we're ideally going to want crit on both builds no matter what. If we're going for judge, trying to do things like a uh, double chain strike, then you're going to want really, really, really high break because if you have a higher break than your opponent's block uh, from chain strike, chain strike deals additional damage based off of that difference. Uh, and then stack as much attack as possible. If you're going uh, the gunner route, having some defensive stats like tenacity and block uh, will never be a downside. But that's it, guys. That is my best possible uh, DPS build for PvP and PvE. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think I missed anything. I do believe Sword has, some few, has a few options, but I believe across all game modes, both of these builds will be able to give you some damage. Till next time, guys.